Hi, I'm Rob Jamieson from AMD. I'm at NAB 2015 and I'm with Mike Griggs here. What we have here is we have Modo and Nuke, both from the foundry. And we thought we would see what we could, we could do with them while we're here at NAB. So in Modo, we have a 8 million, sorry, polygon model of a, it's a scan model so it's not been optimized um, part of the process as a 3d artist would be you would get scanned data like this and then you would have to retopologize it to get it ready for animation and there would be process after process after process but the lovely thing is because we're working on a new mac pro powered by amd graphics we can start to look at the retopologizing and the modeling in modo over here but in mari where's my mouse there's my mouse um, we can also start to work on the textures at the same time, which is incredible. Because Modo is using the UI and all the power of the D700, one of the D700, sorry, in the new Mac Pro, whereas Mari is loading in. We're able to swing and move around and then actually start to think that potentially we would want to start to work in more color tones in here and fade that back. So either as a standalone artist or as a part of a small or even a larger facility, we've got the ability with all this graphics power to drive all of these two programs and each one is using different bits of the computer. Now the other thing that we're also running is Nuke Studio from the Foundry. And this is a, basically it's a one-stop shop for VFX compositing. Um, it's got, uh, NLE editing capabilities which work really well with XML output for Final Cut and Premiere but it can also be used as standalone NLE editor and it also gives you the power full power of NukeX so here we have a 3d environment that we've created um, we brought in a, a model head but the interest, the great thing about this is we've also done camera tracking, we've done projection mapping, and we've started to look at the beginnings of a composite as well. And this was, this has all been managed over the past couple of days by using the versioning controls within Nuke Studio, which allows us to do bits of rotoscoping, bits of shot cleanup, and work back and through the process very painlessly. We, we know where we are, we can add annotations if we were working with other artists. And because the versioning is controlled via Nuke scripts, um, that means it's very, very lightweight, both in file size and efficiency on the computer. And potentially, you could even be sharing it through the cloud. Um, the other thing that we start to do, oh, we've got an autosave on there, is that we can start to use this high-res model data to then uh, create normal maps within Modo which we can then use Modo's rigging and binding tools and live feedback uh, renderer to actually start to work with it in 3D and get some character work going. So you've effectively got a three-man workflow on one machine being controlled by one man or, or, or lady, you know, let's not be. Um, and we've also got over here on the HP laptop, um, we've got Modo and Mari running as well. And we've got good examples there of how motion graphics um, is working with Modo now and how we can use the advanced rendering capabilities to break down in our layer passes. Um, and there's been some big announcements this week from the Foundry, especially in regard to Nuke Studio. Um, primarily that there is now a free version of Nuke. Um, and it's, um, you get Nuke Studio, Nuke X and Nuke. Um, free for completely non-commercial use, so you can use it to build your demo reels or just if you want to learn um, how to use this technology just in your own time. Um, it's limited, to, I think, only to HD, um, but you get all the tracking tools, all the major um, reasons why you would want to invest in Nuke. It's all there for free now, so it's a great range of programs running on some really nice hardware. And the great thing is, is it's running. It's, got, it's just there. It's working. I'm not having to worry about it. It's no, it's great.